Welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rate Weekly Market Update for the week of November 12th, 2012. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage here to give you your update. You notice I'm not in my office. I'm actually in sunny Palm Springs, California for a retreat. I'm getting ready to fly back, but I wanted to make sure we got your market update out. So if you look at the bond chart on the screen, we can see the bond had a nice run up last week after the presidential election. Uh, the day following President Obama being reelected, we did see the bond market jump up. Um, because the stock market sold off. So bad news for stocks, great news for bonds. So home loan rates did improve and ended the week lower than they began, uh, close to all-time historic lows. We are recommending locking your Delaware mortgage rate. Take advantage of these because if you look at the graph on Friday, it did sell off somewhat. Um, so it could continue into this week. So we are recommending locking in these historically low rates if you're looking to purchase or refinance. Um, in the labor market, it is improving, but it's still very fragile part of the economy. If you look at the, some reports last week, the first one being the um, job openings and labor turnover report. That came in the lowest since April 2012, and that's basically measuring the number of openings that are available. So it looks like uh, the openings for people looking for work have gone down. Uh, the initial jobless claims that were filed last week actually unexpectedly dropped to 355,000 from the expected 370. We don't know how much of that was actually from Hurricane Sandy, which may not allow a lot of people to file those claims. So we won't see that effect till this week's release. Um, and then uh, the big news in the uh, is the financial fiscal cliff. That's what the president's talking about and Congress are talking about. That happens January 2013 if Congress fails to act. Basically, the Bush era tax cuts will expire for everybody, the individuals and business. Uh, the Obama health care law that was passed has to be paid for, and there's some tax hikes for that to take effect in 2013. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's taken effect in 2013. And then there's some spending cuts to defense and other social programs that were negotiated as part of the budget deal in 2011. If all of that is allowed to happen as is, that's the Congressional Budget Office said $600 billion will be taken out of the economy, which will definitely put us back into a steep recession. So hopefully Congress will act. Call your congressman, tell them to do something get rid of the politics. In the housing news, NAR economist uh, Lawrence Yun announced that the medium home price for the third quarter of 2012 was 186000 It's up 7.6% from last year, 2011 quarter report at 173000 the median home price. So that's good news showing the housing market has bottomed out. Yun is predicting that home prices will increase again in 2013. So great news for housing means a great time to buy. In the local news, the next free first-time home buyer seminar in Dover is at the Dover Sheraton. That's Tuesday, November 13th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, the next one in Newark is Saturday, November 17th. That's at the Christiana Hilton Hotel in Newark, Delaware. Two sessions to choose from, 10 a.m. to noon or 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. You can register for either one by giving us a call in the office at 302-703-0727 or you can register online www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. DelawareHomeBuyerSeminar.com. Now, if you want to take advantage of these record low interest rates, which may not last much longer with the fiscal cliff looming, give us a call now in the office or apply online, www.PRMIDelaware.com. Great time to buy, great time to refinance. Don't wait for rates to go lower because they could jump higher and they could jump higher by one, two percentage points in a week if this fiscal cliff is not dealt with. So definitely recommend giving us a call. Till next week, see you then.